KX News Storm Team. Welcome back everybody to KX News at 5. It's been another sunny day out there today and daytime highs reached into the mid to upper 30s and 40s and some places even got 50 degree temperatures out there as well. So happy Thanksgiving to you all. Tonight we're going to see lows around 24 uh, along with clear skies and tomorrow Black Friday we're going to have another day with sunny skies along with warmer temperatures. However, we do see a cool down heading our way on Monday as we get Get another chance of snow heading our way. In Bismarck, seeing mostly clear skies right now, temperature is 35 with a west southwesterly wind at 7 miles per hour, dropping that wind chill down to 29. In Minot, beautiful sunset out there at the moment, uh, seeing clear skies, temperature is 38 with a south southwesterly wind at 8 miles per hour. Just that slight little wind dropping that temperature down to 32 for a wind chill. So temperatures are cooling down now going into the evening. Uh, uh, they're in the 30s and 40s and even some areas seeing uh, in the upper 20s there. It's uh, 28 right now in Rugby, 47 in Garrison and 36 in Dickinson. Earlier in Garrison, it was 51 reaching one of the warmer temperatures on the map uh, throughout the day today. Winds are out of the west around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, so we do have another breezy day out there today and the breeze is going to stick around for the next couple days anyway. And our satellite and radar is showing mostly clear skies out there at the moment. However, we are seeing some clouds now roll into the far northwest into uh, Williston and Minot there as well. And if we take a look at precision cast here, winds are going to be out of the southwest by tomorrow afternoon. And we're going to get some clouds roll in by uh, tomorrow night, late tomorrow night, early Saturday morning. And those winds are going to shift out of the northwest on Saturday morning around 8 a.m. as we get more clouds come in. So we're going to see uh, mostly cloudy skies on Saturday morning anyway. And then we get a chance of snow head into our area around 4 4 p.m. on Saturday in the far southwest around Dickinson there. However, it is quickly out of our area by later that evening and those winds are going to stay out of the northwest. Lows tonight will be dropping down into the 20s and lower 30s, so it's going to feel a little chilly out there tonight. Not really bad anyway. Uh, low around 27 tonight in Minot, 24 in Bismarck, and tonight in Sydney, a low around 30. High temperatures for tomorrow are going to feel pretty nice, reaching into the 40s and 50s tomorrow. High around 48 in Minot and 43 tomorrow in Bismarck. And check out Hedinger, a high around 54 tomorrow. We're getting a heat wave <laughs> heading our way. However, we do see temperatures cooling down on Saturday back into the 30s and 40s. And if we take a look at our 72 hour planner for Dickinson here, the next few days will be breezy as those temperatures start to drop back down into the mid to upper 30s in Williston. And if we take a look at my not seven day forecast here, a high around 48 tomorrow. And if you can see there, we don't get a much of a break from that breeze this week uh, in Minot as temperatures do start to decrease just a little bit after tomorrow on Saturday, a high around 40. And then after that, we're back into the mid to upper 30s on Sunday and Monday. We get a chance of snow in Bismarck uh, late Monday night going into Tuesday. And that's when we see temperatures uh, drop quite a bit back into the teens. So, yeah. Good. Good day to wash the car tomorrow. It should be. It should be a good day to, you know, hang up lights and everything like that. Yeah. Get ready for Christmas around the corner. So. Whatever, whatever you got to do. Anything outside to do yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, you get, exactly. You get like five minutes to do this. Exactly. So and then temperatures are going to go back <laughs> and Cram down. it all in. <laughs> Just a one day. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Taylor. Next in our five and five, a horrific.